fuck? <laughs> oh, I need to repair this weapon, shit. I got repair kits, so... No, I'm not doing that. Perfect. Oh, big ass Securitrons, man. Taking up all the space. There we go. Giant tarantula. Oh, sweet. So I get more uh, effects for the emitter. The sonic emitter. We could break down ammo now, so might as well. Jesus, might as well do that. These houses are so fucking creepy. They really are. All right, off we go again. So we've uh, switched over to energy weapons now, for the most part. Since my energy is up to like 80, I think I have it, so... We switched over. Bidding's own dome. <clears throat> All right, here we are. So I guess this is the last thing I can do. So let me go back. Right? That's what I'm thinking. I gotta like start the main quest. Alright, that's good. At least I can see uh, what that jukebox module gave me. Start to finish this game up. Should have brought more money. I could have got the uh, upgrades for the weapons easier. I have to sell some stuff. Back to the sink. Bones and shit. Oh well. Come on, man. What the fuck? What's that? <clears throat> right on, Daddy O. Just plug it in and I'll mix you up a sweet, sweet sound. <laughs> Tarantula. Yeah. 
critical strike incendiary, huh? <laughs> 55. Um, nah. I'm gonna try the paralysis, I think. What's that? Actually, I like Gabriel's bark. It knocked him back. I like that one. I'll keep that. I want to see if I can plant this maze. Is it growing already? Oh, okay. Well, hello. to take the maze though but can I plant it what the fuck I need the seed I think yeah I need the seed shit how do I make seeds oh you have to clone it oh wait a minute oh I have the cyan green so now I can clone it so I can make whatever I want oh shit oh let me try this just one Oh, okay, so it gives you a maze. So I can make whatever plan I want now. I see. I get it, I get it. Well, hello. Alright. So, I got the selling green. Couldn't stay away, could you? Yeah, I knew you'd be back. Uh -huh. To heal first. You require some. All right. Now we're gonna go talk to these maniacs. Greetings, citizen. All right. I think this is no. There we go. Think tank. Oh, we deal with these whack, these whack jobs, scientists. Damn. I want to um check out my weapon first. Hold up. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Stay where you are. There you go. Yes, I already have one. I'm gonna repair it with the other one. Who do I talk to? Let's climb. Yep. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? <laughs> we need them, as I have indicated. Alright. I'd be honored if I could hear any knowledge the Think Tank had to share on the scientists. Uh, you all seem knowledgeable in your fields. No doubt there's much you can share with me. A lot of stuff to say. Wow, I have to talk to every doctor? <laughs> Alright. Uh, have a seat, get your popcorn, it's gonna be a while. Why, yes. We are filled with the knowledge you speak of. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They can help you. Alright, this is po I'll probably do this one last. That's probably to start it up. I am Dr. Klein. Chief Head Researcher of Logistical Operations and Ideology here at Big Mountain. <laughs> I am surprised you have not heard of me. I am first in my field. First chair, as it were, back in the days of chairs. Dr. Mobius was not the horrifying creature you saw upon the screen, twisted by science. He was once one of us, a friend. He researched in directions contrary to the think tank. Brains, 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 always about the brains. So we exiled him. He says he left of his own volition, but that was to save him the embarrassment. Now he sends his intelligence consuming scorpions from the Forbidden Zone to plunder the secrets of Big Mountain. He is a menace. 
Let's do this. Um, these mechanical rooms consume intelligence. Are you certain of your findings? Let's do this. Doctor O is certain of his findings, and no one else in the think tank is willing to test the results. Loss of brain power. Terrifying. O has said on many occasions his inability to comprehend Mobius's robo-schematics is because of repeated robo-scorpion stings. It's a side effect of the cerebral scrubbing. It won't stop you from excreting or asking questions, apparently. <laughs> have to correct that next time. That's funny. Hormonal aggressive tendencies are actively suppressed, however. They are a no-no and not permitted in the think tank. The scrubbing also ensures your silence to keep Big Mountain safe. This facility is top secret, and you cannot speak of it to anyone outside of Big Mountain. Should have done it with the last batch, and the anti-aggression scrub. <laughs> we had to take precautions after the last visitors. They caused a great deal of damage in a short time. Should have made sure they couldn't mention Big Mountain once they left. An oversight. That's probably, um... The guy, the big, the uh, Brotherhood dude, whatever his name is. Elijah. Dr. Eight and Dr. O could tell you more. Dr. O more than Eight. The battle against the visitors damaged Eight's voice module. Suffice to say, those visitors are unwelcome. They stole a great many secrets and much technology. Impertinent. They also broke one of my trains. They took the collars, the explosive collars too, I think. Oh, another quest. This is the Think Tank, the nerve center of Big Mountain, the greatest research center known to man, and to us. Here we test and test and test some more in the name of science, atomic power, nuclear power, and scientific power. Yes, because the intellectually challenged see an M and a T next to each other and take Occam's razor to it. <laughs> While you are here, you will refer to this place properly, and you will do the same with the other scientists here. Okay. That glowing red scar, that laser lobotomy canyon maze carved in the landscape, as if by some child? It is Mobius's fortress. From that hemorrhoidal fissure, he sends his amazing robo-scorpions to terrify and irritate us. <laughs> he always tended to the dramatic. Ask Boros. I believe he knows more about the fence than any brain. <laughs> Except maybe Mobius. Mobius was involved in their construction, if I recall. But he's such a hack, he probably was reading off Boros's notes and schematics. 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 Well, we didn't actually do it. We tried to clean up after, as always, but usually the auto dock runs on remote. But we programmed it. Or Mobius did. Still, this new wrinkle with the Tesla coils in your skull was unexpected. I mean, we predicted we'd have a breakthrough eventually, but... Nala knows more. She supervised your spine peel and the heart Jesus. circumcision. Then dumped them both into the tanks in the sink above. Quite sanitary. Sure took her time. She always takes longer than projected with lobotomite surgeries. Not sure why. Oh, that's the, the disgusting one. Oh, she's a woman, though. I didn't know that. Um... Yes. In all probable likelihoods, yes. Possibly. <laughs> that it may have gone to Mobius is merely an inkling. I don't know why, but it may be something involving the surgery code. Actually, I don't know. All I know is it misplaced itself, or it floated off. They get into robots sometimes and go on a tear. Great. Uh, oh, I can get the code. Mobius set up the autodoc medical routine, so you think he's responsible for the post-organ dump? 
want the code. Mobius's legacy code was in the old auto dock. Yes, it fried itself after your procedure, so he couldn't tell for sure. It is unfortunate. We would have benefited from knowing how the breakthrough occurred, even if we installed another chip. The information is lost.